Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful people, and welcome to another day in the daily life of Jay. I am Jay, and I got a dilemma, y'all, and I don't know what to do. Well, I know what I could do, um, but it's a last resort, one of the last resorts. I went to get something to eat during lunch and I took my debit card out of my wallet and I laid it on top of my console and I can't show you now but my console kind of has one of those um, what do you call it? It's not an accordion door, but to a degree it is kind of like an accordion door um, that you can just push up and pull back. And I, I have two of them. Well, I set my purse on one part of the console, the back half of the console, and I put my card, after I took it out of my wallet, on the front part of the console where the little door is. It lays flat, it's not up, it lays flat. And I'm in the line, I'm about to order my food, but I've gotta pull up first. And as soon as I hit the gas to pull up, I heard this whooshing sound. It's kinda of like a shoosh. Very soft, but I heard it. Guess what it was? Oh, it was my debit card. It went into the little space, the very tiny space that's just big enough for my debit card to go through between that door and the hard part of the console. And I don't know how to freaking get it out without tearing my console apart. I don't know how to get it out. And guess what today is? This is the kicker. Today is payday. Today is payday. And I have several accounts. And I've mentioned that before. I have several accounts. Um, my regular checking account. I don't know what this person is attempting to do, but you're holding up traffic, sweetie. Um, I have several accounts. My regular checking account and then my debit card account that I use specifically to um, buy my incidentals and pay for my lunch if I choose to have um, lunch out or even pay for my food that I'm going to use to fix my lunch um, and my breakfast. And sometimes I will pay a bill with this card um, as I had planned on doing today. I planned on paying a bill with that card today. Uh, and sometimes I will like my, um, my website account that is paid for with this particular card. I tried not to put um, all of my money in one main account only because the the main account, which is where the majority of my paycheck goes, pays the bills for the household. The majority of the bills for the household. Um, and then this account pays the smaller stuff, like I said takes care of my groceries for my lunch and my breakfast when I want to do that. Um, takes care of any of the smaller bills that I want to pay out of this account. And takes care of my personal stuff, such as my website. Paying my bill for the website. Well, I have paid all of the big bills out of my main account. So those funds are accounted for. The only thing that I had not paid yet was 
my husband and my uh, life insurance policy, our life insurance policy. I had not paid that yet. And the crazier thing about this is I had attempted to pay first thing this morning. I had attempted to pay our life insurance first thing this morning. And something was going crazy with the website. So I said, okay, I will wait until later to pay that bill. And I, before I went to lunch, I went to the website again to attempt to pay the insurance policy. And again, the website was wonky. And I couldn't pay it. So it's like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I called, I went and got my nails done. I had to do that and I paid for that with the card. Um, I had um, acrylic on my nails and it was time for a fill. Okay, it's time for me to get off of here. It's raining like crazy in case you can't hear. And I'm on the expressway. And people are driving as if the roads are not wet. So it's time for me to get off and take the streets because I would rather if I'm going to be in a car accident, God forbid, if I'm going to be in a car accident, I would rather be in a car accident on the street where there's no potential of falling than on the expressway where there are bridges that we have to cross quite often and somebody hit me and I'll fall off the bridge. Yeah, that's how my mind works. So anyway, I had some acrylic and it was past time for a fill-in. And I had decided that I was tired of uh, the acrylic anyway because I just, it was just too much. It was just too much. Um, and I haven't had acrylic on my nails in over 10 years. Um, as a matter of fact, it's probably been longer than 10 years um, because I think my youngest child was he, wasn't even born the last time I had acrylics. In, in all honesty, and that child is now 21 on our way to 22. Um, so I paid for my nails. I put the card back in my wallet. So the card isn't lost. I know what I've done. Um, and I gave you a whole lot of extra that you didn't need. But my, I got in the car after I left the salon and um, called the insurance agent to say, look, I'm trying to get my life policies paid but something's going on with the website. And of course, the insurance agent didn't pick up, so I'm guessing he was at lunch. Um, so I left that voicemail that I'm trying to pay my life policies. The website isn't working properly, so I'll pay it with you via the phone. Give me a call back. Well, it's 5.15, I still haven't heard from that agent. And thankfully, the agent didn't call <laughs> because I, can't get the card out of the freaking console. I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't. I, I really don't know what to do. Um, I take that back. I do know what to do. There are a couple of things that I could do. I could try to figure out a way to get it out without tearing the console up. Um, but where it fell, I don't think there's an easy way to get back there. Um, like certain parts of the console have a panel. Um, why are you getting in my lane? Massive truck. Um, there are certain parts of the console that have a panel that you can pull off to get into and work with the wiring and all of that. But there are certain parts of the console that don't have a panel so you cannot easily get to it. And I do believe that where the card fell is the part that does not have a panel, an access panel. So I could try to figure out how to get in there. And I won't do that until I get home. That's one thing I could do. Oh, when I tell my husband this, there's <laughs> he's gonna have a field day with this. Um, so I could try that. If there's no easy way to do it, then the other thing is that I can go online because thankfully I recorded the card number. I 
I just don't remember the expiration date or the code on the back. And I usually am pretty good about both of those, the code on the back and the expiration date. Um, but anyway, I could go online and try to transfer the funds from that account to my main account and then get to the customer service and let them know that I need, you know, an order a new car. And then come back to work on Monday. Actually, I don't have to do it from work because I have access to my ADP account, uh, my payroll account from home. But then I have to make changes to the payroll account, my payroll account, so that all of the money goes into the big account. So that all of the money goes into the big account. And then when I get my new card, I will put back that money. I will put back that money. Or put, you know, have it go back to that, have it go to that card, that percentage that I have going to that card now, have it go to the new one once I get the new one. This is, I have not ever done, and I, here's the crazy thing about this to me. I have told myself to stop putting things there on that console because it does not hold stuff. I mean, it holds stuff, but it doesn't hold stuff. And this is what I mean. I've put my cell phone on there and it's been fine. No problem. I've just sat it there and it's been fine. I've done it a few times. No problem. Well, the other day, was it yesterday? Wednesday or Thursday, um, by the way, it is the 17th of January, 2020, and right now it's 5.19 in the p.m. But it was either Wednesday or Thursday that I put my cell phone there and pulled off, which I've done many times, which I've done many times, and I tell you, people just don't know how to drive, and nothing ever happened, but yesterday or Wednesday, whatever day it was, I did that very thing, and my phone fell off. It's never done that before, ever. But yesterday, or whatever day it was, it fell off. That was my sign, not to put anything else there. But I didn't look at it that way. I just looked at it like, wow, that's weird that it fell off. It doesn't typically do that. And today I put the card there and it's literally when I hit the accelerator, arch. and that was my card going through that little space. <sighs> what am I gonna do y'all? What am I going to do? All right. I'm home and I'm grateful that I made it home safely in this rain with all of the people who do not know how to drive in the rain and I'm gonna go upstairs and explain to the husband what I've done listen to what he has to say and then try to figure this thing out not only do I have to pay the life insurance policies but and thankfully I did get gas first thing this morning so I don't have to worry about that hallelujah full tank of gas um, because I was gonna pay for the gas with that card too um, but because I've paid all of the bills the majority of the bills especially the larger ones out of my main account the money that was on that account the the card that's in the console the money that's on that account is all of the money that we have left to get us through the next two weeks <sighs> yeah so I'm gonna go upstairs tell the husband what I did and figure out what my next step is 
So I pray that you have an amazing weekend and a great start to your next week. And with that, peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.